here in the Hunter Classic, Christmas apparently comes just a little bit early. So we're here on Hemeldal to work on the 2022 Holidays missions. Now, there are a bunch of objectives, too many to list out here. But as far as I can tell reading through them, we should really only need two weapons. So we have the 8x57 Holiday Rifle. And we have the shotgun. Most of the weapon specific objectives just require a shotgun. So we're going to head out, try to do as many of these as we can, and hopefully chip away at getting to those rewards. And fittingly enough, the first reindeer of the day is a Rudolph reindeer, and he's not particularly impressive, up to 330. And I think we just have to take him with the holiday 8x57. Now, we actually need a female reindeer at some stage. There's actually two bulls. How interesting. I, we need a male like over 440 or 450. He's not going to get there anyway, I don't think. So let's just take this guy. If we really need to, we can try to track this herd down because female reindeer will knock him into a call, but they will follow a male into a call. And it's hard to say which male these females were with, but decent chance there were at least some with the one that we let get away. So let's take a look. Our shot him at 16 meters. And a score of 279. Now, I always like to taxidermize a Rudolph every year to have in our event animals lodge. And I think we'll do it here. I mean, it's it's 10 a.m. If we get a bigger one, that's fantastic. And we'll have uh, that in the lodge as well. But it is our first one. And sometimes it happens that we don't get one better than that. But it really does become one of my favorite trophy shots we've had. Just the backdrop there. Is really nice. I'm gonna try to find an angle that doesn't let that light through at the base of the reindeer antler. That's the thing you'll see on a number of species at the right angle. Sometimes you can see where the antler kind of joins the head. I think that works though. And we'll head forward. That did do one of the objectives. We did have to kill a Rudolph at some stage. And let's see if we can kind of catch up with these reindeer and find a female that fits the bill. Well, we just about walked over the thing, but there is a female reindeer, probably gonna score higher than our male. And the only requirement is a single shot with a shotgun. I'm not going to lie. Even this terrible angle with a shotgun slug, I think would bring it down. I guess we'll try it. It could be a poor decision. However, I'm going to say the fact that it just tipped over means we were all good to try that. And at least that will get our second objective out of the way. You can even see that was lung blood. The 12 gauge slugs are more than capable, at least at whatever that was, like 15 meters, 25 meters of taking a reindeer down. The score of 307 is bigger than the Rudolph reindeer we shot, but that is that objective. And outside of getting a 450 plus bull reindeer, we're more or less done with them already. By the way, as we go along, collecting presents is one of the more important objectives. Not the common presents, purple, red, blue, most of those you can find quite easily. The gold present though, I think is gonna be tough last year it was coming down to the wire, I think the final day or maybe the day before the event ended. We finally got the gold present and completed the objective. That's part of the reason for coming out here today. Because I think most of the mission objectives could be done in a day or two. But sometimes running into a much smaller and often harder to see present can be the most difficult one of all. Well, the good news is we are guaranteed essentially a mission objective with this track if we can find them. A max red estimate moose, we only need one to weigh over 500 kilo, and all we gotta do is shoot it with a single shot. So provided we can make a decent shot and provided we can track them down, that should cross that one off the list and good to finally have something other than reindeer here. And we don't even need to track him down because he's walking our way up to 195. I was gonna maybe go with the bow, but this is a multiplayer session. And therefore, it won't pause if we go to the inventory, so we will just take him with the 8x57. Should be a good double lung, and I don't think he's going to be going all that far. And that, with him laying right there, should cross that one off the list. So, we're quickly moving to some of the maybe tougher species to run into. Red Fox, Lynx, uh, Willow Ptarmigan's on the list as well. So, hopefully we can start to get down into those areas. Had we needed 600 kilo, we would have got it with that guy. 189 score. And that is yet another one across off. So let's start to move down through here. I don't think the ptarmigan should be that tough. I don't remember the exact requirement, but they're typically in that area. And who knows too? I mean, the potential to run into more reindeer, brown bear, all that could happen down in there. 
this guy just came out of absolutely nowhere and he's a 480 to 620 with the max weight estimate we'll definitely try to get him as long as we can get him with the shotgun i think it's single shot again that will complete the objective shouldn't be any like vital requirements i can't he's got one shovel busted he's gonna go well over 500 but he's pretty narrow and i'm actually not a hundred percent sure if the spread impacts the score but not too bad didn't call him at all actually spooked a female off that direction and i guess maybe she was with him but let's see a 178 kilo reindeer scoring 511 so not giant but definitely funny for the mission I suppose we'll take a little trophy shot here. Would have loved to get a Rudolph like that. I've never had over 500. I think we have top 400 once. It would be pretty cool to see one, you know, with antlers of this size. So maybe not quite the backdrop that we had on the Rudolph, but not bad. And of course, there's more antlers and less room to get to see everything behind. And that is the one thing with this event. It's always 1800. The idea of being like a Christmas Eve kind of thing. So the lighting's really good for stuff like that, at least for the kind of sunset. And regardless, we don't run into that issue where it's subpar. I don't know if the weather can ever change. I can't recall it snowing, but that might be possible. We're just moving right along here. These were actually north of the reindeer we shot, so we had to turn around and go back. But I'm pretty sure we only need over like 0.5 kilo, which most ptarmigan will be. I'll make sure it's not a requirement male or female. But as long as we can get in here, flush him, and make a shot, I think we should be all set. I, I'm pretty confident the weight or score requirements really just any time again with this one. I did forget they added that new variant, which is basically all white. We might try to get this one. If it comes back around, we'll go for it. Or maybe that one. Pretty sure we got it. I've not shot one of those yet since they added them. They did all the new, like, furs and variants and stuff, and we've seen the Ibex, the Bighorn, the Coyote. I don't think we've seen the Ptarmigan. It's a 0.7 kilo one, actually not too bad. 689, and I don't know that we'll actually take a trophy shot. That was our 100th Willow Ptarmigan, which actually was an achievement I was trying to get. But can we just kind of pick this up and get a look at it? It's a pretty cool looking bird, I gotta say, and it sounds like something hung around. Like, I can hear their sort of chattering sounds, and they sound like they're right here. I just spotted one, I thought. It could have been... No, it is this one. It's a really good weight estimate, but a terrible score. We'll just flush that too and try to get it. I mean, we just fired the shotgun, so... Not like it's gonna hurt to attempt to get one more. And apparently they were all right here. There's another one of the... New ones? Ah, if we didn't have to reload. I think we could have gotten it. That one's gonna get away. But, that was something I've been wanting to do. I want to get to 100 harvests of every species in the game. You get a different profile banner in doing that, and got the ptarmigan out of the way. The other one on this map is the lynx, and that's going to take a little longer, but we do need one more here today, and that'll help. Now, I don't know when it comes to female lynx what the potential score range is. You need one that scores over 8 for this mission, and I'm really not sure if that's a possibility. I'm hoping for the best. 5 to 25 kilo, thinking on bobcats. Like, a decent-ish male, around 15 kilos, scores over 8. So, let's hope as we take this with Buckshot that we can maybe get that one done. However, maybe that's not even the one that I had the track of. It's going to weigh 14 kilo, going to score 6.3. So, because that's roughly the same as any female Bobcat, I think we can fairly safely assume we need a male Lynx to do that. So, we'll hope for the best, but a little unfortunate there. Moving from a kind of tough one with the Lynx to a fairly odd one with the Rodier. We need a Rodier that weighs less than 20 kilos, and this one's got no shot at 25 to 30. And I think it's probably more likely to get a female Rodier weighing less than 20, but you probably could get a Buck to weigh that as well. Also got a Red Present. By the way, I said they're fairly common finding the regular color ones other than the gold. That's only the second one we've seen, so it might get a little bit tough. As for the Rodier, obviously that one's not going to complete it, but 
I'm hoping there might be some others around. I did want to drop that. Rodeer are strangely tough given their size. There's a chance that's double lung, but it could have been single lung. And I thought it went down quick because we didn't hear it going for long. And indeed, it only went probably 30 meters. This does answer my question earlier, by the way. It can, in fact, snow, so you don't always have the sunset going on. But this was a single lung shot 35 meters away. Any animal would have run from that, not just a rodeer and way over the 20 kilo max that we could have had for that. And kind of figures we have another decent reindeer coming in. He called not too far away. And luckily we used the bow on the roadier. The other side of the roadier objective, and by the way, if we look at how quiet the snake bite here is, this brown bear didn't even notice. And because brown bear hitboxes are odd, that's going to be way far back. Or... Somehow we hit the spine, I guess. But anyway, the roadier objective does require you to not use a scope. So the snake bite, even though it does have the single pin sight, that doesn't count as a scope, and we could use that as well. Regardless, would like to see a Rudolph on one of this size. 414 score for him. And I guess we'll have to dispatch this bear quick, too. The bear mission, by the way, requires one to just score over 22 and above 95% harvest value. So, with this score estimate, it had no chance. I think you can get female brown bears around, like, 23, 24. But having the spine shot and ruining the harvest value, even had that one scored high, it wouldn't have mattered. This time, I believe we have our Rodeer. This one's 25 to 30, but you can see this one is just physically smaller. And according to the estimate, it's 15 to 20 kilo, which should mean it's going to fall under 20 guaranteed. I assume it would be possible to be right at 20, because when you get, for instance, an 85 to 100 kilo whitetail, you can get it weighing 100.0, which, depending on how this mission objective is written, 20.0 may work, it may not. I think we're going to go for that shot, even though it's a little farther than I'd like. That insta drop, and I was hoping to get this other road here to stay. I did hear the ambient noise of Eurasian Lynx, and I was hoping that maybe it would come in, but probably with that other road here running off, decent chance it's going to spook the Lynx as well. So one last kind of look around, make sure it's not sneaking in regardless, and we can worry about the Lynx for next time. Provided that this is, in fact, going to complete the Rodeo objective, we should have six of the nine animal-based objectives already done. Still have a lot of presents to find, still have the Fox, Lynx, and Brown Bear then to get, but I think we're in pretty good shape. 17 kilo, that is going to do that objective. And I think on that note, that is going to do it for this video. We will worry about going back to the Event Animals Lodge at some stage, but I'm going to hold out hope that we get a better Rudolph and can improve on that from the one that we got as the first kill of today's video, and maybe that'll be next time when we attempt to complete the rest of the missions. But anyway, that's officially going to do it for this video, so as always, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you next time.